just a great example of what it is. Like it's the perfect example. I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm loving it. So I'm gonna suggest that Gavin clicks off this video right now if he's watching. I feel horrific. So those of you who've been on my channel for a while, remember a series I did called Booktube Twin Test. I last did an episode of this 10 months ago. I actually can't believe it's been that long, but I just went and looked and it's been like nine, 10 months. By the time this comes out, it'll be 10 months. <laughs> it's been 84 years. In that episode, I had Mara from Books Like Woe as a guest and uh, she turned out to be my booktube twin. I never thought this would happen but the way that we did this was that the booktube would have to recommend me three books and they would get a number of points per how many stars each book got and if they got 15 points aka the maximum points available they were my booktube twin and I thought that would never happen. Turns out it did. <laughs> And Mara got three five stars. And for a long time, I was debating whether I should even bring this back. I was like, you know, is there a point now? You know, like, should we continue doing this? But I spoke to my patrons a bit about it and they're like, Megan, you need to bring it back. You need to keep doing it. So we're here again. <laughs> I guess we're trying to find uh, me and Mara's booktube triplet <laughs> now. <laughs> and I asked you guys again, I refreshed my kind of, um, what's the word, like market research of who you guys think I have a similar reading taste to. And for this episode, I've picked someone that quite a few of you said, and that is Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin. Here's all the people that said Gavin, here we are. <laughs> and so yeah, I asked Gavin to pick three books that he loved, that he thinks are loved as well. And we're gonna read them. I have no idea what he's picked. I thought Gavin would be an interesting one to kick off, I guess, this kind of second season. I, we're not going to call it a second season, but this kind of is the second season of Booktube Twin Test because he's not someone I immediately think of when we have similar tastes. I feel like he reads a lot of stuff that I don't read, but maybe in what we do read where there's crossover, we do have a similar reading taste. So let's see his video and see what he's picked. Oh my God, Meg, I literally just filmed the whole thing and didn't click record. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it again. Oh my God. Meg. 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 <laughs> Take two. Thank you so much for asking me to part of your twin test series. Oh now I already feel like we look so much alike. <laughs> we might as well try and find out if our tastes in books actually do align. I can't. One of us likes Ruth Ware. And it ain't me. You nasty. So I am a little bit nervous and scared about the outcome of this video. However, I do feel like I have a bit of a strong selection for you that I hope you end up oh my God. loving. <laughs> We'll see. And if you had have asked me like a year ago, this list would have been so different. I've picked three books that I have genuinely really loved this past okay. year. I think is indicative of on, my Gavin. taste moving forward. So the first book that I would love for you to read is <laughs> Confessions by Kane Minardo. <laughs> this one made okay, me confession. myself. Oh my I think I was because <laughs> I just couldn't believe what Stop I just it. read. So your homework, when you read this, like say chapter by chapter, you send me a message. <laughs> You send me a message when you get to like the end of chapter one and a chapter two. You just send me the messages. Okay? <laughs> this one is about a teacher who works in a middle school and her daughter died on school premises a good few months back. Okay. And this teacher, she's resigned and she's given her final class to her students. And she starts the class by saying pretty much, I know two of you killed my daughter and I want to find out the who trauma. did it. Because it was fucking one years. <laughs> Disgusting! Then I have one that I think you own and you will have definitely seen doing the rounds on Booktube and that's Finley Donovan is killing Absolutely it. Absolutely not. Hang on, 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 hang on. I thought I was gonna die. I have avoided reading Finley Donovan for so long. It actually made my voice go out of fear. <laughs> I feel like I should love it. This is one I've been putting off for so long and now Gavin's forced my hand. Okay, back to the video. <laughs> oh shit. By El Cosimano. Oh, so good. We'll not talk about the sequels either. 
However, this book itself is just a, a modern day, modern classic, day classic, classic, as you will. You'll know okay. what this is about. Oh God, I don't need to tell you again. However, I will. Because I want all the screen time I can get. <laughs> this one is about <laughs> Finley. She is a writer. She's having lunch with her agent and she's talking <clears> about <throat> her book. And somebody mishears her. Somebody actually thinks she's mm -hmm. a hit woman. Oh my God. I and done gives this. Finley an offer that... I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> leads to some like really great comedic moments. Ooh, stunning. <laughs> just one of the best books I've read since joining Booktube in all honesty. Okay, so no I do hope that you think the same too. God, I'm doing so good so far. She's really good. She's really okay, so good. maybe in the dumb but absolute beautiful that I am, just realize that you've actually already read the third book okay. that I've recommended. <laughs> but if anything, that just proves that we are twins. So you can go ahead and put those 15 points yeah. in my tally right now. So the third and final book that I'm going to recommend, and hopefully you haven't read it, is Ooh. The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. Now, I got this out of the library, like what, three or four months ago? And absolutely loved it. it. And I had the lowest of expectations going into it because of how much I did not like Peter Swanson's yeah. other book, okay. Nine Lives. Don't okay. read that one. I mean, you might read it and like it because, you know. <laughs> well, hopefully you enjoy this one. There are so many plot twists in it that I was just like, what for half of the book? So this one's a little bit like Strangers on a Train. We follow okay. Ted and he meets this beautiful woman called Lily. And while talking to Lily, Ted jokingly says how much that he would love for his wife to die. Lily ends up taking that as a challenge. I was shooketh to the core, not just because of how good the oh book was, but the fact that Peter Swanson actually wrote a good book. Poor I'm Peter. just saying. So if I love the book, then I'm pretty sure you will too. And this is actually just reminding me that I loved it enough to buy a copy. So those are the three books I recommend. Godspeed to you. And I'm so excited to find out if our tastes actually do align. <laughs> Confessions in the Come With Killing, I don't own. So I gotta get my hands on those. I don't know, I suppose confessions I was maybe expecting. I wasn't necessarily expecting the Come With Killing, but I can't get over Finley Donovan. Get that fire exit door. I'm off. Yes. This yes. is a concern and a worry. <laughs> I actually don't even know what to say. <laughs> Those of you who've been here a lot will know you've been telling me, Megan, you have to read this. Megan, you have to read this. I told you I'd read it within the first, like, month of the year. That didn't happen. Um, we're finally going to be reading Friendly Donovan is Killing It. I think we'll leave that one till last, because I like the drama. <laughs> so I don't know. i got to get my hands on Confessions and the Kind Worth Killing. So I'll get my hands on one of those, and we will start. Wow. I don't know how I feel about this, this Gavin. I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> So, I got my hands on both Confessions and the Kind Worth Killing. Okay, so I started with confessions. Okay, um... <laughs> if I speak, I am in, in big trouble. In big trouble. Yeah. I've got to be honest, I'm not in love with it. I'm going to turn this light off. It's making me look funny. Hang on. There's something about confessions I'm not 100% loving. So, basically, all you need to know about this is that um, a teacher's four-year-old daughter was murdered by some of her pupils. And in the first chapter, she is confronting them about this. And then um, each further chapter, from my understanding, is told from a different perspective of someone involved in the case. And... I'm just not loving it. <laughs> I forgot, I haven't done it for so long that I have forgotten with book two twin test how terrible I feel when I don't love a book. Like the same, I remember we had bad luck with Gabby's and I just felt like the worst person on earth. I mean, it's fine. There's something about the writing style that I'm not vibing with. And I know it's not that it's a Japanese translation because I have given so many Japanese translations five stars, right? So it's just something about the writing style. I am not connecting with. I am so sorry. I'm about 100 pages in. Uh, I read all those 100 pages last night and like I read it all in one sitting, there's that 100 pages, which I haven't been doing a ton of, especially not at night. I've been struggling, you guys, to read at night. I've just been falling asleep and I know I can't make it a habit because once it's a habit, I will fall asleep every time I do it. The same thing happens with, um, <laughs> you watch, well, it used to be BuzzFeed Unsolved, but now it's Watcher, Ryan and Shane. I've watched a lot of their stuff. Me and my boyfriend always watch them when we're going to bed at night and I now fall asleep like every time I watch them not voluntarily just because I associate them with sleep but I managed to read a lot last night but even then it was just kind of because I know I have to because I have to read a certain amount of books this week in order to get all of my obligations down like this vlog and a live show that I've got and yada yada you know I know I've got to like I can't I can't hang about with reading books and there's I just I don't know <laughs> 
I just feel like I'm 100% missing out. I don't know what else there is to tell you. I feel like everyone has given this five stars. Everyone's obsessed with it. Everyone's like, oh my god, it's pure genius. None of the plot twists yet have made me go, I've just been bored. It doesn't help that the chapters are quite long. I think we're only gonna have like six chapters maybe in this whole thing because each person's perspective is a chapter. And that's just not the vibe that I want right now. And I just thought this book was gonna be very different from hearing people like Gavin, I know Katie loved it. Kayla? Did Kayla love it? I can't remember. I remember it was Kate, one of Kayla's book clubs. Like, I have very different expectations for this book versus what I am currently expecting. I'm like, because it's a different cover in the UK, I'm like, is this the same book? <laughs> am I reading a different book to the rest of you? I don't know. I didn't expect it to be like this and I'm just not loving it. So anyways, I'm going to finish it tonight. I'm going to plow through it. Maybe my attitude will change. Listen, I'm only halfway through a short book and my opinion has changed very much with short books in the past all of a sudden. So I'm hoping that's going to happen, but um, I'm just kind of bored. And I've been bored with a lot of what I'm reading lately and I was hoping this video was going to shock me into like life again. At least we'll have Finley Donovan. I'm gonna say Finley Donovan to the end, guys. I'm gonna make you wait. Because I'm going away tomorrow and I don't really wanna read Finley Donovan while I'm in the car. Like, I, I wanna read that book when I'm in bed, like, vibing. So we're gonna read The Kind Worth Killing next. So yes, anyways, I will see you tomorrow morning, probably, after I finish this. <laughs> we could also go with, um... <laughs> I don't even want to talk to you guys. <laughs> so I started this 11 days ago, according to Goodreads. <laughs> don't we just love that? And if I'm looking tired, it's because I just read the last like 40 pages of this and it put me to sleep. Yup, 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 yup. Yep. So I'm gonna suggest that Gavin clicks off this video right now if he's watching. I feel horrific, but I'm giving this two stars. So Gavin starts off with two points. <laughs> I don't know. This is a book, right? I feel like everyone's loved this. Like loads, so many booktubers have loved this, right? That I love and have similar reading taste to and watch and adore. And I just don't get it, right? Sometimes when I don't love a book, I can like look at it objectively and be like, okay, I get why everyone else likes it and I don't. I don't get it. I don't get what you got. Have I read a different book? Is this like a bootleg, like <laughs> fake version? Because <laughs> I was so bored. So bored. So bored. What up? What do you want? Are you filming? Yeah, for a vlog. Oh, okay. I'll be like two minutes. Do you want to tell the vlog that I really want McDonald's? Tom. Because what I've been thinking about is I've. I've Come tell them yourself. What, do, what are you going to say you can't stop thinking about from McDonald's? The chicken Big Mac. Chicken Big Mac. Oh, hello. Who is it? She just sat down there. Hello, Lexi. Come here. Hmm. I'm not sure about this. I'm going to have to let you out in two seconds. Anyways, I've discovered. I've made a discovery, Lux. Indulge me, if you will. <laughs> so we had the same problem if you watched my seven murder mystery books in seven days. And I read six stories by Matt Weselowski. And this and that have something... Oh, Lux. <laughs> And both of their like storytelling techniques are the same where we've got multiple characters from different perspectives, each with like a whole chapter from their perspective, telling the story of what happened from their perspective. And I, it turns out I hate that <laughs> because you just hear the same story over and over again. I'm like, what's the point? Bored shitless. I'm hearing the same conversation over and over and over again. What is the point? What is the point? <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> like if I would, if I have read the whole story pretty much within the first 40 pages, what's the point in me reading this whole book? I was so bored because, and even though there's a few twists, like a few, like, you know, as we read the perspectives, we figured out more what happened. And I thought it was a surprise to me. I'd sussed out everyone in this story within the first 40 pages. No, there was no twist. There was no shocks. There was no tension. There's no tension with this type of story. Because you're telling me the same story over and over again. I feel like this, the the TikTok of that girl who worked for Tesco and she imagines, like, fighting a customer. Like, <laughs> I didn't love it. And I have nothing to say to you. It took me 11 days to read this book. It's 230 pages long. What was I playing at? I actually, I just didn't want to read. I, at the moment, I am not, I don't feel excited to read. I don't feel, I'm not in love with reading right now. And I think this book is to blame. Sorry. <laughs>
<laughs> I have nothing else to say to you. The writing didn't personally vibe with me the way it's written. I can understand why some people actually enjoy the style of writing, but for me, it didn't vibe. It reminded me, actually, I'm not going to spoil anything, but the ending of that is exactly the kind of book I wrote about five times in my creative writing lessons at school in year six, and I got told off for doing the same ending over and over again. If you have read... <laughs> Confessions. I was gonna say, if you read my year six stories, if you read Confessions, you'll know what the ending is. And I did that again and again. So if year six me wrote it, whatevs. Uh, we're gonna read Kind of Worth Killing next. I got the audio book. I need to sneeze. <laughs> oh gosh, like dabbed. Yeah, we're gonna start the Kind of Worth Killing tonight. I don't know how far I wanna get into it. I really just wanna play Cozy Grove, but I need to read if I'm gonna get this book to you. If I'm gonna get this video. <laughs> So that book made me so tired. If I'm gonna get this video to you this weekend instead of when it was supposed to go up last weekend, I can't push it back another weekend. So we'll see. I'd like to get maybe 100 pages in tonight. We shall see. Good morning. <laughs> I am halfway through The Kind With Killing. Ignore my injury. <laughs> yeah, I'm halfway through The Kind With Killing. I'm really enjoying it. Finally, some good fucking food. We're getting a bit positive, guys. I'm feeling better. <laughs> We obviously just started off with the one that wasn't for me. So all you need to know about this is that uh, what their names, Ted and Lily meet in this airport bar. He confesses to her, my wife's cheating on me. I'm so angry, I could even kill her. And Lily's like, maybe you should. <laughs> and it's split um, perspective between Ted and Lily alternating between them. Uh, Ted's telling more of the current day storyline of him finding more out about his wife's affair and Lily kind of going back to her childhood and discussing possible roots of being okay with murder. <laughs> I don't believe in the glorification of murder. I do believe in the empowerment of women. It doesn't feel like a five star yet. Let's just, let's say yeah. Let's not say not a five star. Let's say yet. Yeah. It could happen. But it is exactly what I needed. It's a fun, quick thriller. Like it's such an easy read. I'm flying through it. I'm loving it. The audiobook's really good. I'm really enjoying the audiobook narrators. Like it's exactly what I needed. It's exactly what I was asking for. I needed quick, fun, easy, don't think too hard about it. The only reason I'm thinking it's not a five gonna be a five star. I don't think I've ever given a thriller that's to do with like marital <laughs> relationships a five star because I often feel like they're a bit generic and the tropes that they play up on are just a bit old and this isn't doing anything new so it's not pushing the boundaries of I don't know but we did just have a really good twist as well I'm on page like 200 but literally like the last chapter was we've entered book two of the book so I'm not going to tell you anything about what's happening but there was a twist that I really I was not expecting seeing coming and it's made me like it even more I was like oh damn oh shit <coughs> we trick <coughs> it's the kind of twist that I enjoy where it's like ballsy. It's a ballsy twist. It's not afraid to go there. <laughs> and I really appreciate that. So yeah, this is my first Peter Swanson and it makes me intrigued to try more. I know everyone's been dunking on like every new release he has every year. Every year I see his new releases turn up on like people's, oh my God, I'm so excited for this list. And then by the end of the year, it's like on everyone's worst books. <laughs> Like Nine li Liars? Lives? Nine Lives? Whatever that one was. The one before that, I can't even remember what it was called. I swear it was about like um, another w man and a woman and they're both having affairs on an island. I don't know. <laughs> but this has made me intrigued to try more from him. And I'm just having the best time. I don't know if it's going to be a five star, but I feel like this is at least going to be a strong four. It's what I'm currently feeling. So I'm going to go ahead and like finish this this morning slash afternoon. I'm just going to, I'm going to edit some of this video and I'm going to finish this book because I'm really excited to see where it's going to go. And it's a very nice, fun, quick read. <laughs> okay, I finished The Kind Worth Killing. Drum roll. <laughs> I'm going to give this 4.5 stars. I'm going to give it 4.5 stars. So that puts Gavin on... 6.5 stars which listen right we started off rough with a two but <laughs> if you remember that if he if finley donovan gets a five that will leave him on 11 and a half stars which isn't uh, 11 and a half points which isn't you know that's not to be sniffed at that's within like the higher higher parts i guess of the <laughs> of the leaderboard so listen not a, not bad we're back on track with this i think this is just a great example of what it is like it's the perfect example of what it is the only reason it's not a five for me is because it perhaps felt 
a little bit generic like I feel like more and more the books that I give five stars have to have something different about them something innovative something that I haven't seen before and I feel like everything in this I have seen before to some extent but it was just a great example of what it was I would probably recommend this to people as like their first thriller I think this could really be a thing that like gets you into thrillers that makes you want to read more thrillers I think this is a great example of something that if you're wanting to get into thrillers this would be an example of that and it also just reminded me why I, I can love a good thriller more and more I read more mystery based stuff but um I've got a Miko hair somewhere on my face I just cuddled him and I just like my clothes are covered in him my face is covered in him he molts like crazy I don't have to sit here and listen to this more and more I read mystery based stuff but I feel like this reignited a love of thriller in me and it is exactly what I needed after confession like it's made me excited to read again the past couple weeks I think I had last vlog I did as well I just wasn't I think I was that the one I had a lot of like three stars I think it was I just haven't been excited to read whereas this has like made me go oh yeah <laughs> so I love reading. The audiobook was great. Um, I have seen that there is a sequel that's just come out. I, you know, shame on Gavin for making me start two different series. I'm not exactly supporting that goal, are we? But, <laughs> but um, I think I will read it. I don't, it doesn't seem like necessarily a series to me. It feels more like a companion book. We only seem to have like maybe one character from this book um, in it. And although this does have an open ending, it seems like the open ending is going to be left open in the second book is following something else so I think I will give it a go I will read it the reviews look good it's only been out like a month but the reviews look really good so yeah if you wanted to get into more thrillers this would be a top recommendation for me I loved it I probably wouldn't have read this if it wasn't for Gavin picking it for me or at least I wouldn't have read it for a very long time and I'm so glad I've read it so the time has come <laughs> I'm so nervous I can't believe this is happening the time has come to start Finney Donovan is killing it I can't escape it anymore I can't I can't escape anymore. I will check in with you about, it's like 350 pages. I'll check in with you once I've read about 100 pages. I'm gonna edit, I haven't edited anything yet. I'm gonna edit this log so far. And then I'm going to, what am I gonna do then? <laughs> then I'm gonna dance, oh my God. Fitness Marshall on YouTube. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. If you guys want to do like more dance workouts, the Fitness Marshall is so good. Just make a playlist with some of your favorite songs and then just like let the songs run from one to the other. It's so good. <laughs> I love it so much. It makes me so happy. So I'm going to do that this evening and then hopefully I'll check in with you later this evening having read the first 100 pages. I'm really excited. I'm nervous, but I'm feeling like I'm going to love it. We've waited long enough. It's time to begin. Good morning, cuties. I'm going to do my skincare. I got to page 100 late last night, so I didn't really feel like filming. So yeah, we're 100 pages in. I cut my finger. A few things we've got to address. I cut my finger badly the day I'm cooking gas, but I've got a bandage on. I'm still in my pajamas as well, don't judge. All my life I've been someone who didn't really ever get spots. I never really had a problem with acne or whatever, but I've been breaking out so much lately, particularly like here, like this spot in particular, I've never had spots there before. And I've been like, I've had spots there, <laughs> loads. That's suspicious. That's weird. The past couple weeks. I'm thinking, perhaps it's this. I've seen a few people online saying that this made them break out. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna test run that it's this and stop using this for a while. So anyways, let's do the skincare. So I'm 100 pages into Finny Donovan is Killing It. I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm loving it. I don't know what you want me to say. Like, I'm loving it. But are, are we surprised? I don't think we are. So I know you guys have probably heard the pitch a thousand times. We've got a struggling mum who honestly, I've never hated a character as much as I hate her ex-husband. It's on site, honestly. Like I wouldn't even hesitate, this man. <laughs> yeah, so she has got kids and she's really struggling financially. She's a struggling writer, but she's struggling to write amongst all the turmoil that's in her life. And she has a meeting with her editor and they're discussing her book. And a woman over here is at the other table. They're at like a Panera and there we go. Um, yeah, they're at a Panera and she overhears and she thinks that she's a hit woman. <laughs> like the woman thinks that Finley's a hit woman. And so she like offers to pay her for Finley, I've got to try and like not get this finger in the skincare, uh, for Finley to kill her husband. And it is just so readable, right? I'm just loving the writing. I just read the 100 pages like without stopping. I was just so into it. I have not been that into it <laughs> to a book for a while. There's just something about the writing that's just so 
I don't know, easy to read and enjoyable. I really like Finley as a character. I think the financial situation that she's in simultaneously feels like something that a lot of women go through, but also could drive you to commit murder for hire. Well, well, it doesn't happen murder. overnight. It's not a miraculous, <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> murder. <laughs> like, if I was in that position, you know, and my ex-husband was like a shit, had cheated on me, I had no money, he was threatening to get full custody of my kids. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not letting my kids move in with that guy. Absolutely not. I'm going to commit murder for hire. What do you think? Like... <laughs> So I don't know, I really am enjoying that. And I'm a little bit shocked at how quickly we've got to the point we have. I'm not gonna say anything, but I'm 100 pages in. So I feel like even, I feel like always the first third of a book is kind of not spoilery to tell you what happens, but I'm not gonna tell you what happens. But some books I need to tell you only like the first 20 pages. Some books you probably have to give like the first 80 pages of the book to make it make sense, you know, depending on how quickly the plot moves. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm like, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Also her, uh, like ex nanny for the kids has kind of is prominent in the story now <laughs> let's just say that Vero who I think they're gonna have a really interesting dynamic throughout the book I wasn't expecting her because like the first 50 pages I would say she's like not in the book really and she just like appears and kind of gets involved with the story and I'm really interested to see their dynamic throughout the book I think they could have a really interesting dynamic so I'm loving it but we're not surprised we knew it was gonna go this way I'll check in with you when I'm I don't know like two to, I don't know, it's like, like 220 pages in, something like that. I'll check in with you. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this book today. I'm obsessed. But we knew I would be. But it's, you know, it feels like at the right time. Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> I am on page 220. I'm gonna finish this right after I film this clip with you. Um, yeah, I'm page 220, Philly Donovan is killing it. I'm still loving it, no surprise. I'm getting five star feelings. I feel like we all knew this was gonna happen. I'm also so excited already to read the rest of the series. I think there's three out now, isn't there, in total? And I'm already just so excited to continue on with the series. I need to get the second one straight away. Like, I'm... I'm ready. The floodgates have been opened. <laughs> I will say though, Finley, girl, she's making my heart. If this is not good for my blood pressure, not good for my heart rate, not good for like any of that stuff. Hang on, my laptop just went off. <laughs> because Finley is so stupid. I don't want to spoil anything for you. I'm trying to think of how I can talk about this in hypotheticals. <laughs> but let's say, let's put mild spoilers up on the screen, right? Okay, so let's say if someone hypothetically, this is like mild spoilers, mild, mild spoilers for the book. Well, <laughs> you kind of know what direction this may be taking from the synopsis. Okay, whatever. All I'm gonna say is, hypothetically, if someone's gone missing, okay, and you may have something to do with that, and you've got their phone, and you've had their phone, <laughs> why would you put their phone back in their car to be found when if the person's missing their phone could just be with them that can be explained very easily the phone's gone missing do you know what i mean i watched the whole alex murder trial recently and i know they can track the phone they got the phone towers they got graphs on where the phone towers are so where you were and they have science on this on like if it pinged off this phone tower it has a 80% chance of being here and your car they can track like your whole car's movements I'm not sure if this is like every car if she maybe has an older car that they can't do with I don't know but like on in this case they could track at every point in the road how many miles an hour he was going if you don't, if you don't follow this case there was like his he's accused of his wife and um son and his wife's phone was like found down the road ages away at one point and so they were trying to prove whether he chucked his wife's phone out of the car and they have data on like when a phone's screen is turned on they can find out like when if when you lift the phone if the phone screen turned on they have data on that and it's like finley you are girl we're screwed out here like she's stressing me the fuck out <laughs> oh my god i've watched enough of this to know you just better hope no one no one looks at you funny because <laughs> it's gotta get a sip of water So yeah, she's stressing me out, but I'm still loving the writing. I'm loving, oh my God, any moment that Stephen, her ex-husband gets like, I'm like obsessed. It makes me so happy. <laughs> not, he doesn't, he's not dead, but like anytime he gets his comeuppance in even the slightest way, I hate this man, my God. Still love her and Vera's relationship. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I love it. So I'm gonna go finish it and I'll speak to you a bit later with my thoughts. It was five stars. <laughs> not a surprise. 
Yes! Yes! <laughs> that leaves Gavin on 11 and a half points. If I'm doing my math correctly, 11 and a half points. So that's how many points he has, which puts him here on the leaderboard. So not, you know, not to be sniffed at, not a bad showing. You, to be honest, two super high ones, right? A 4.5 and a five, like two really successful picks just let down by confessions. <laughs> Yeah, this was just so fun. I mean, everyone's told me like forever that I'm gonna love it and I did. <laughs> we knew this was gonna happen. I am so excited to continue on the series. I need to get my hands on number two ASAP. I loved it. I thought it was so fun. I didn't feel like the twists were predictable. I loved all the characters in this. It just, I love, I really enjoyed Big Little Lies and I really enjoyed this. I do enjoy women, <laughs> women. <laughs> I do enjoy like suburban women and murder, but I like it when there's no men involved. I don't <laughs> The men ruin it for me. I hate when the men come into play. So I feel like in both Big Little Lies and this, the men aren't really in it, you know? She's a single mom. Yes, her ex-husband's in it a bit, but like, not really. So I like suburban women and murder, but no men. No men, thank you. <laughs> there's also a love triangle in this, which I've heard a few people mention, but not a ton. But yeah, there's a love triangle in this, and I actually like the love triangle, and I don't, ha I feel like it's a fairly equal love triangle. Well, you know, it's not a... It's not joined at the bottom, the two guys aren't into each other as far as we know. I hate love triangles when it's so obvious who she's gonna go for, do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, you know, like, <laughs> what's the point? But for this, I don't know who the series could end up with, which I really enjoy. So, I mean, listen, Gavin had a bit of a cheat code by picking this book because it's obvious that I'm gonna love it. Everyone's known for ages I was gonna love it. Everyone's been telling me, everyone's been waiting for this moment. <laughs> I would finally read it. But I read it so fast and I loved it. And it was so readable. The writing was great. I have a few questions about the realisticness of uh, publishing industry in this. The fact that she's expected to write a whole draft of a book that's like hand inable to her editor within 30 days. Like that's not, that's not realistic. <laughs> but other than that, I was able to suspend my disbelief and I really enjoyed it. So yeah, two massive wins, I would say. Two books that I really, really enjoyed. This one we knew I would. This one I did not expect to enjoy as much as I did, but it was just such a fun thriller. But unfortunately, Confessions wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. I'm so sorry, but we live and we learn. Uh, not everything can be a win. This is a win for so many other people I know but it just wasn't it for me. But I feel like on the whole, Gavin did really well. Like I said, if this had been like more, if this had been like a 3.5, right? He'd be almost, he'd be second behind Mara because he had two super successful ones, just one book that was let down. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the return of Booktube Twin Tess. I know I did. I forgot how fun these were to make. So if you guys have any booktubers you think I have a similar reading taste to who'd like to see featured, don't comment it on this video because I won't be drawing from this video, but I will link the community post, the YouTube community post, where I asked. I asked on Instagram at the time as well, but obviously that's disappeared. So I'll link the YouTube community post where I ask for suggestions if any of you have any more suggestions so I can add them to my spreadsheet. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you got onto the end of the video, comment sunglasses emoji for Finley. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Gavin. I'm sure you already are subscribed to Gavin. And I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.